Hey guys, this is Jake Machady with Unknown Munitions here for another rifle build spec video. Uh, you guys seem to be liking these quite a bit, so we're going to keep hitting it every time we finish up a rifle. Uh, the one you see in front of you here, we just got it all dialed in. And I'll just run down all the components and get to the weight at the end from the, the nose to the butt. Uh, we have a TI Pro 4 muzzle brake. Just remember now that the, uh, the quantity of ports corresponds to the name of the brake, so Pro 4 would be... Uh, four ports, and then there'll be several different ODs available in each, you know, Pro 1 through Pro 5, also stainless and titanium in every version. Uh, here we have a spiral fluted benchmark barrel, it's 24 inches. Uh, this is a benchmark number 5 contour, if you're curious. It has a 0 .700 inch diameter muzzle finish. That's kind of how you you spec out barrel contours, generally you want to know what the finish is going to be at the muzzle here. So 700.700 inches. Of course, we have our bat machine Vesper action in long action because this is a 300 rum rifle. We have Hawkins Precision Ultralight Offset Rings. Now these work great with a, if you get the lows, which I believe is 0.885 inches high. 30 millimeter works great with a Night Force NX-8 and a steel contour barrel. If you can get a if you get a, a carbon barrel, a lot of times the guys will ask you that for your ring height. If this was a carbon barrel, more than likely these would need to be the one inch high rings so that the objective will clear the barrel here. Uh, moving back, we have the Game Warden Macmillan Game Warden 2.0 stock. Uh, this customer wanted to get after uh, what Macmillan calls their transition camo. Now we did Cerakote this stock because we bring everything in basically bare. But we can match almost anything you can imagine in the coating department. We have a stencil cutter, laser engraver, you know, almost anything you could want, we can match it. So again, Macmillan Game Warden 2.0, fantastic stock. It does have flush QD cups here on the left side. This is the way I prefer to run it. Uh, keeps the bolt out of your back if you do happen to want to run a sling. I'm not a big fan of, of sling. You could run it here and here also. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of having a sling stud back here. I usually pull these out right away so that it doesn't disrupt uh, the bag riding ability of the rifle. So underneath here you have the, the hunter's rail. It has a short section of Picatinny rail at the top and the rest of this is Arca. Gets around the bottom of the, the nose of the bottom metal real nice so that you can use your the center of balance on the rifle if you happen to be on a tripod for a tripod shot. This is our unknown munitions bottom metal and magazine. For a 300 rum it's really tough to get any better than this. It's 3,950 internal length of this magazine. Uh, three round single stack center feed. Again, unknown munitions, bottom metal and mag. 3,950 inside the mag. This one finished out at 9.7 pounds, the way that you see it here. And I think I covered just about everything. We will list out all the build specs of this with hyperlinks to all the different products uh, and some additional spec information on the rifle. There are blog posts on our website under the rifle builds category. And you probably see this on YouTube too. So thanks for following along.